I have been making a lot of research about Dubai historical site and stumbled into one of the historical districts which is home to Ashindaga Museum. I picked up my footwear, got my snacks and drinks and ready to explore this historical site. I went to join the metro on the red line to Bojuma metro station. When I got to the metro station close to my home, I realized that my metro card pause was low and I had to recharge it. I proceeded to join the metro on the red line going to center point and stop at Bojuma metro station where I transferred to the green line to join the metro going to Etisalat. After two stops, I dropped off at Alubaiba metro station and walked seven minutes to Dubai Heritage Village. Hello beautiful people, welcome back my channel my name is Rafael Whitney today we are going to be exploring um, Dubai Heritage Village together Dubai Heritage is an historical site in Dubai where you can visit and learn about the UAE history and culture stick with me to the end of this video if you are new on my channel please hit the subscribe button I beg please 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 hit the subscribe yeah tap that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon notification so that you can be updated when i upload um, a new video also if you are a returning subscriber thanks for coming back stick to the end of this video while i give you a quick tour of dubai heritage village Shindaga is a location on the banks of the Dubai Creek on the Port Dubai side. On one side, the area is flanked by Port Rashid, and on the other side, by Alpha Idi Historical District. Shindaga is not well known as the Alpha Idi historical neighborhood but the historical significance of Ashindaga is not just located at the beginning of the Dubai Creek it is further backed by close ties to the ruling family of Dubai the Mark Tombs. the site has been reserved for showcasing Emirati history and culture since 1997 when the heritage village opened to the public today the site is home to Ashindaga Museum and also part of a larger conservation location included in the Dubai historical district Admission fee to the Heritage Village is free, but if you would like to visit the Ashindaga Museum, which is the main attraction of this historical district, you will have to get a ticket price at 50 dirhams or adult, 20 dirhams if you are a student or 40 dirhams if you are in group. The museum was launched in order to give travelers a remarkable insight into the historical viewpoint of Dubai and the birth of the city. You will feel transported back in time when you roam the narrowed roadways between each historical building. As a sightseer, you start at the Welcome Center and you are then invited to see team pavilions dedicated each to various parts of Emirati history, life and culture. You can learn about the Maktoum family and visit their family residence as part of governance and society. Hey guys, so I am still at um, Dubai Heritage village i just quickly want to give us some um, travel tips so filming is not allowed around some parts of this dubai heritage village so you have to be careful when um, filming and um, the, when you are coming here the best time to come here is between um between december and march yeah, because those period um uae is usually cold yeah, we usually experience cold weather during this period because if you come any other time other than that the sun is going to be too much and um well do you know what that means watching so guys 
if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon notification like this video by giving it a thumbs up feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to follow me on tiktok at dreamhunter500 see you at the next one